County Commission, the president, once again, Jim Whitaker, and the vice president, once again, Eddie Gokenauer. Gentlemen, good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Good morning, Rob. Good to be here. Good morning. Good morning, Eddie. Uh, Jim, how you feeling, buddy? Oh, I felt better. This uh, this little bug that's gone around, it, uh, it definitely works on you. Eddie, are you healthy enough? I'm doing well. Yeah, stay away from Jim, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm glad when I'm not in the studio. <laughs> Sit two well, chairs down. Yeah. Two chairs down, Eddie. Well, okay. Jim, we wish you the best there. There's certainly between uh, COVID, the flu, and the RSV, there's enough that's been going around. Sinus infections. Um, what's the other one? Ear infection. I mean, it just has run the gamut, for sure. And it's only mid-January, right? I know. Right? Uh, let's talk about uh, your uh, re-election as president and vice president, uh, Jim. If you could uh, go right ahead first and address the re-election as president of the commission. Sure, I was I was duly honored again to be elected president, and also having Eddie as my uh, vice president. It um, I think that uh, the way the commission is set up now, that uh, we all have the same voice at, at the same time. I try to make sure that everybody can put their input in and. And if there's a, an issue that we uh, that we all talk about, so it's uh, try to lead by example and and to make sure that um, all uh, aspects of the of the um, uh, of the questions or of the, of the concerns are, are always met. Eddie, and your reinstatement as the vice president of the commission. Yes, sir. Uh, that's that's quite an honor, uh, you know, for your colleagues to uh, uh, vote you in that position, and. You know, it's it's like Jim said. You know, we have a, we have a very open communication, uh, which is which is really really good, and it's important. You know, we we respect one another. We work very well together. Uh, you know, just like everybody else, there's there's give and take. There's compromise, and uh, you know, uh, I'm proud to say that uh, you know we're strong. Now, a a lot of people in the county who just kind of get up and go to work each day and then go home at night don't know what really goes on behind the scenes. But I'm privy to it. I'm about to blow this case wide open here. (laughs) So so uh, most people don't know that the new president and new vice president have to make a pilgrimage up 81 to the compound. They've got to meet with Bill, the godfather, Stubblefield, (laughs) kiss the ring as the former president of the commission and get the blessing to continue on. How did that go when you guys had to ask Bill's permission to continue on in these roles? Be careful. Well, if if you're waiting on me to reply, I think that uh, wait till I get better and I'll come and kiss his ring. Give me a chance. Yeah, it's it's always a pleasure. (laughs) <laughs> right. Just for those that do not know better, Rob is fabricating this morning. <laughs> I knew that would be your response, Bill. Uh, Bill, you are a former president was, of the Berkeley was, County yeah. Commission, and, and I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of things you can identify with uh, yeah. the things that Jim as president uh, does and has to do, and, and Eddie as the vice president. You know, something that is necessary for those jobs is to be able to work well and relate to the other members of the uh, uh, the commission or the public as a whole. And I cannot think of anybody better qualified to relate with others and to work well with, with others as what Jim Whitaker and Eddie Gokenhauer. Two very good personalities for the job. Gentlemen, uh, let's talk about the, the legislative session that's coming up. Uh, the governor will give his state of the state tonight. By the way, we'll carry that live uh, on, uh, on the air. What are you looking for? out of the legislature in regards to Berkeley County and how the legislature can help make Berkeley County a better place to live? Well, I can probably tell you right now that uh, there's there's many things that Berkeley County needs that uh, other counties uh, that that aren't faced with, and and one is our road infrastructure. So, you know, we're hoping we get um, some some good, uh, um, good sponsorship for uh, making our roads better, safer, and uh, and and more of. I mean, we all know that this we are the fastest growing county in the uh, in the state and in this region, and uh, everybody's faced with uh, the, the the taxing problems of uh, of trying to get around uh, safely and comfortably. You know, you had Ron Stevens on earlier about the school buses and and all that they have to go through, and and the Department of Highways and the and the workers there. They all do a phenomenal job, and one of the first jobs that I ever had was working at the Department of Highways right out of high school. So I got a little firsthand knowledge on everything that they go through, and, and it's not an easy job. So, 
Eddie? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Um, you know, obviously, we're going to continue to work on that one cent sales tax to be able to meet the uh, needs that we have in this county for uh, public safety. Uh, and that goes anywhere from law enforcement to firefighters to uh, medics to school resource officers to uh, dispatchers. You know, that there's a heavy lift there uh, with with our growth to be able to keep these services up to where these guys can go out and do their job and do it well and do it safely. Um, an, another thing that, that we brought up is the uh, hopefully to be able to look at increasing the homestead exemption because of our values. Our property values here are so much higher than uh, so many other parts of the state that our seniors are not getting the uh, relief uh, in comparison to the rest of the state. So, you know, we've, we've brought that to the table as well. Uh, impact fees, you know, people are always uh, talking to us about growth uh, and that the growth needs to pay for itself. Where currently we do not have zoning, so you cannot impose the impact fee uh, on the growth. So we've asked to remove the zoning requirement uh, out of the legislation. And another one, uh, which I am not as good at explaining, but is the rollback tax. That rollback costs our county a lot of money um, that that normally would be coming to us, but because of the increase in property values, once again, we're hurt. So, you know, there's there's lots of issues, and um, but but some of those 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 are the those are some of the main ones, and they will they will affect everybody here in some fashion. Eddie, is that rollback tax, is, is that uh, part of the uh, bill I think John Hardy was working on where uh, about 10% a year is going to get kicked back to the county until it got to a full 100%, and then they were trying to accelerate that to make it to happen faster? No, sir. That's, that's the, um, the real estate exemption tax, uh, what, what that is. That's the... Um, the, the um, I forget the name of the tax, but but no, sir, that is, that is not the rollback. That's okay. a transfer tax, isn't that? Uh, a transfer yeah. tax, yeah. yeah, that's good. Yes, John Bill. Yeah, yeah. Uh, first, gentlemen, a request. Uh, if you listened earlier, I raised this issue. This is the time that we're all excited about who's going to be running for office. Well, you're excited, Bill. No, Maria, a lot of people are excited. Uh, who's going to be running for office? Uh, and we can find out the candidates for the statewide offices by going to uh, Secretary of State. I can even find those in Jefferson County who's running for local offices by going to Jefferson County. I'm having trouble finding who has registered for Berkeley County. I realize that's more under the county clerk's uh, uh purview than yours but that would be very nice if that was posted because for the next couple so weeks there's going to be a lot of jockeying who is going to run who is not run so let me make a request that we try to get that available to the public if you would please you know i would be happy to make that phone call uh uh, when i get off the phone but i was under the impression that it automatically um goes right straight to the secretary of state's web page not not the locals not the locals eddie uh statewide office it does i know i can tell who's running for a delegate i can tell who's running for a senate uh and obviously the statewide offices but not who's running for sheriff or who's running for county commission and the like okay i'll, okay. I'll check one okay. yeah, and i got a text from john alderton of course tony petrucci we talked about earlier yeah. tony would have nothing to do with the city elections of course he's yeah. a county gina long is the city elections uh yeah. person to talk about the other th- the question, uh, Rob asked a question a second ago about what you want from the legislators, uh, and home rule is one that we've been preaching for years and years. Uh, there has been kind of a standard rebuttal, uh, at least for the last 20, 21, 22 years, by saying that's great. But some county commissions do not want home rule. They prefer not to have that responsibility. And that may well be true, but I would would hope, would suggest that Berkeley County and other counties make it very clear that you folks are ready to assume that responsibility. Because if you give the legislators a little bit of a tree to hide behind, they're going to take the whole tree to hide behind. So you, it, something that Berkeley County needs, and but having trouble getting that past the uh uh the end zone of the legislators i believe that if the um if it was made to be possibly on a referendum for the voters to vote on 
it may have a little bit better, uh, um, uh, I would say, um, not a possibility, but maybe a little bit better feeling. But but you're right, Bill. The uh, the home rule has um, has become an issue that uh, that would benefit Berkeley County because of the way that we have been growing. Yeah, yeah. I just saw. Or, or at least make it permissive. Where yeah. if a county does not want to do it, yeah. then then they don't have to. But a county that that needs these uh, additional resources uh, for the additional services would have that right to be able to do it. Yeah, exactly right. It's uh, again, I just the point I was making is that uh, it has been a very convenient argument and it's been used for several years. It's not just uh, unique to this year that, well, we do it, but a lot of the counties don't want to do it. And I think that's a uh, it's a false argument, but it's one that's been used. Marie, before you go real quick, the uh, county stuff is indeed now on the SOS website. Uh, Colin just found it a moment ago. You if you click on there's a little box there, you can click on state. Uh, county, whatever, local, and you can click on that, and then it'll give you all the Berkeley County oh, candidates. Then I may have sta- I may have been wrong. I looked and did not find it. It may not have been on there when yeah, you looked, okay, but it's yeah. definitely on there now this morning. Go ahead, Maria. Uh, so this, gentlemen, this may be a better question um, for Gary Wines, but, but you're here, and I'm here, and so I'm going to ask it. Talk a little bit about the progress of the construction projects that are going on um, uh, at the county facilities uh, there. Well, um, over at the Day Report program, we have started the construction project for a three-story addition, um, and that's where um, we're going to probably use uh, a lot of the um, uh, opioid money to finish that project, and and it'll take us well into the future uh, because of the additional space that we're going to provide for the um, for the needed um, um, workers there. Uh, we're always going to be faced with some sort of um, of an issue when it comes to you know the drug overdose the epidemics and things like that so um one thing there the next one uh, eddie can probably speak to inside our building uh the 400 uh, west stephen street that the um it the progress of that construction is going pretty well we're getting everything uh more um, ease of uh, access to on the first floor for all the citizens coming in that want to do business or needs to do business in there. But, Eddie, if you want to elaborate a little bit more, that'd be great. Yeah, that, that project's come along very well. That that whole building is really getting a, a makeover. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of moving in there from one department to the other. Uh, everybody's getting kind of shifted around. Uh, they did a, an analysis early in to see the, uh, the amount of space that uh, each agency needed. And uh, it's really going to be nice, that, like like Jim said, you know, when the public comes in, nearly everything that they need will be on the ground floor. So it will be very convenient for them, much much easier for them to navigate, and um, and we'll have everybody under one roof instead of uh, folks having to to go um, <laughs> on different levels in the Dunn Building, and on some cases need to go to the old courthouse. So uh, there's. It's it's really going to be nice when we get it finished. I just leave it at that. Now, one other, I'm gentlemen, sorry, but one, I'm sorry. One go ahead. Thing, yeah, one other thing that um, we've been working really hard on is energy saving measures. Uh, we have gone through the building with LED lighting, um, uh, top of the line, uh, very uh, energy efficient heating and cooling system. Uh, we have recently um, gotten energy star ratings for the old buildings there as well as for the judicial center. I can't remember the numbers that we received, but um, for, for as old as buildings that they are and how we have made them energy efficient, it, has, it will and has saved the taxpayers a lot of money. Thank you. So the old courthouse is now currently being used as a storage facility if i'm not mistaken is that correct and will that continue are you trying to get those records scanned again this might be a better a better question for um for mr petrucci but you all might have some knowledge about that no i mean the the courthouse is still it's occupied by the clerk's office okay Uh, there's there's very little excuse me there's very little storage there whatsoever most everything there has been taken out to Baltimore Street. Um, the museum uh, building of, of 110, the old bank, mm-hmm. <clears throat> there's, um, we just, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> the, uh, the roof just been completed on that. So that, that, 
the roof's now buttoned up. Now we're looking at uh, what needs to be done uh, on the inside and to be able to convert it over as well uh, as heating and air conditioning for that building as well. Um, and hopefully that that we're going to be able to work with a lot of different agencies uh, once that building is vacated, once the old courthouse is vacated, that we can get some uh, nonprofits in there. Uh, we may be looking at what possibly we could work along with the city, what needs they may have for any of their agencies as well. So we, we want to keep that building vibrant. Uh, we need to keep it you know, maintained. So, um, but, but from a public's perspective, the use of it, um, everything will be going to the Dunn building. So the clerk staff moves there eventually, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Bill, final question for our guests. Yeah, I, I've gone to the Secretary of State's uh, webpage, and I must I may have been going in from a different angle. It is available now, so you're exactly right, Eddie. The county offices are published on the Secretary of State's uh, website. So, okay. So tell Tony, I did, if I fussed at him, I didn't mean to fuss too hard. Okay. <laughs> Yes, Tony, Bill apologizes. <laughs> yeah. uh, you don't have to come up and kiss the ring next time you run. No, no, Bill, no. Bill Tony will, would never do that. Bill waves that uh, requirement there. Uh, gentlemen, final thoughts about uh, 2024 and this upcoming year. Well, we're always going to have challenges, uh, you know, uh, with our with our astronomical growth that we have. Uh, we'll uh, be, I hopefully, uh, be more in tune with uh, what the school board's trying to do to uh, to to promote the unity that we need there as far as um, letting them know uh, better with uh, with our growth issues when it comes to residential housing. Uh, Department of Highways is always um, uh, forefront on our minds as far as for public safety and trying to get people moved around in the county. But uh, those are those are just a couple of things that I uh, I think that we, uh, we can work on better. Eddie? Uh, you know, just, you know, it's, it's still, it's, it's a wonderful place to be. And, uh, you know, I'm going to leave it on a positive note. So there we go. Good to talk with both of you. You had a moment there, Bill? I was going to say, Jim, hope you feel better. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you all. I Believe it or not, I just it, it's not that I feel that horrible. It's just you just can't do anything when you feel like this. It just drags you down pretty good. So Hang in there, Jimmy. All right. Thank you. Thank you, you gentlemen. See you guys. Take care. <laughs>